What's up, guys? Thanks for coming back. Struggle to subscribe. My name is Brandon Ray Walls. Um, and and I'm getting comfortable, yo. I'm feeling y'all. I think y'all feeling me a little bit. Y'all interacting. Um, and it's most importantly therapeutic to me. For real, I want to thank y'all. Uh, it's called Struggle to Subscribe because uh, I'm definitely like in a, a struggling mode right now. Um, but I know that like exercising is, that's the first thing I think of when I think of the struggle uh, other than the struggle, you know, is, you know, when you exercise and you feel the burn, that's you, you, your muscles are struggling. They, they start to shaking and whatnot. Your stomach start getting a little upset in the gym. I hate that. But um, you get stronger from the struggle. And uh, I definitely feel like I'm getting stronger. And I appreciate you guys uh, going with me on that journey. Another thing that, you know, really helps me, my family, um, it's really my spirituality, and uh, I'm a I'm a huge believer in the ancestors, and um, that's for every single culture, anybody uh, out there listening. Uh, my wife's, you know, Mexican, Puerto Rican, so you know I know my history real well, but I'm trying to learn other people's too. So y'all tell me, you know, comment, tell me y'all heroes, uh, y'all cultural, ancestral, you know. Uh, uh, people y'all look up to when y'all going through it let me know uh, i always think of you know like frederick Douglass when i'm self-conscious about my writing can i even be a writer and this man taught himself how to write when it wasn't even allowed and became a, a, a crazy orator and, and a crazy writer in the face of Y'all know who you going through. Let's talk about Harriet Tubman when I wanted like give up. I wanted to quit. Like, you know, she had like 13 missions into the South and she brought out like estimated 70 people. And then after that, in the Civil War, she was a spy and, and a scout. Um, an armed scout and a spy in the war. Like, I, how, why would I quit? Why, why would I stop? I think about my grandmother who just recently passed. She ain't never stopped. I never seen her stop every day of my life. And she was 87. And I ain't never seen her stop. And I don't even know what it would look like. So I don't, it's hard for me to, you know, digest that. But when I think about my ancestors, like, they ain't stopped for nothing. And they've been through. And this time, like, things are much more lush. I, I'm thinking, you know, we got the internet, we got running water, AC, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Our ancestors ain't had that and they still thug it out. They still made it better for us. So we gotta continue to do that. And, and that's just a, a real big part of my spirituality and that helps me through these struggles. Hint, it also is very apparent in my writing. You know, my epic fantasy novel that I'm about to get into right about now. Um, you know, ancestors, man, it's going down. Thank you all. Like, subscribe. I'm going to be with y'all much more, um, what's the word, god dang it, often, um, and also, I'm going to learn how to edit, like, you know, I'm old school, you know, I'm like, paying attention and stuff, like, man, I don't know how to edit, I'm not great with computers and all of this stuff, but, you know, I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to build, and I appreciate y'all guys, it's going to get better, rock with me.